Yo, what up everybody, it's D.L. Stewart, and today I'm doing another bonus video. Um, it's not on my Thursday like I typically do my bonus videos because this is the day I kind of decided to do um, for Project Author 2. Um, so, yeah. Um, as you can tell by the title of the video, it is more about NaNoWriMo that is coming up next month. And it is about how I plan to succeed uh, this year in NaNoWriMo. I've participated in three of the camps. Um, I did one this year and both of them last year, and I succeeded through both or all three of them. Um, last year was my first time I actually attempted the actual NaNoWriMo in November to write 50,000, and I bombed terribly. Um, I think I got like a total like 22 or 23,000 um, words, um, so like not even half. Um, but I've been doing these little 10K writing challenges that Mandy Lynn hosts on the past couple months and I've been succeeding in, succeeding in those. So I feel like I should be able to get it. Um, but the point of this video is how I plan on succeeding uh, this year. Last year it was just me just going, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try it, you know, whatever. It's a thing that goes around. I'll attempt it. Um, and at first, yeah, I, I was doing it all right. You know, I think they recommend like 1,600 and something words a day or something. I was maybe getting there or at least close to it. As the days went on, the weeks went by, I was like, yeah, whatever. I don't feel like doing it today. Yeah, whatever. You know, I'll do something else. Um, and then it just ended up several days would go by without me doing it or a week or so. And it just never got done. <laughs> um, but this year... What's different is I'm actually a part of a writing community. Um, I'm part of AuthorTube. I'm a part of a lot of Facebook groups and stuff. And I have a lot of people to hold me accountable, um, which is one reason why I like doing writing streams with other people. I haven't been able to do them as much here lately because of scheduling. But when I am able to, I enjoy them because I feel like I'm held accountable. Um, it's actually making me do the work instead of just being like, yeah, I don't really feel like doing it right now. Um, so that I think is going to help push me to actually complete and succeed in NaNoWriMo. I am not going to start a new project um, for NaNoWriMo like I know a lot of people do. They start and that's like how they get the first big chunk of it. Um, I am actually going to continue working on Sovereign Duties, which is uh, book two of my Metagore series. Um, I had initially planned on getting the first draft done this year. Um, and right now, I think I'm a little behind track. Um, I was doing really good for a while, a little ahead. Um, I might be a little behind or just barely on it. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I think I still got maybe 18 chapters to write, something like that. I think I'm sitting at... No, 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 I don't have that many. I might have like 10 or 15, I don't know. I'd have to go back and look and see exactly what the chapter count is going to be. It changes a little bit as time goes on because I kind of decide to remove stuff as I'm writing it or you know add more stuff into my outline um, as I come up with it. So it changes a little bit. I think the last time I checked it was around 50 chapters. And I think I'm on chapter 39. I'm like halfway done with that. So maybe just a little over 10 chapters. I don't know. That I'll have to look. But I'm trying to get that done by the end of the year. Hopefully with Camp Nano, or not Camp. Hopefully with NaNoWriMo, I will be able to kind of just push through that and maybe even complete that, you know? Um, I don't really know if I do complete it, then I'll go back and work on some of the other stuff that I had just kind of skipped over because there were some scenes or some areas where I wanted some dialogue, but I didn't want to write it at that point. So I'll go through or go back and, you know, test that up. And if I happen to get all that done and I still haven't hit my 50K, then I will start on one of my side projects, which would either be my memoir, uh, True Identities, or my side project that was a fantasy before I started my memoir, which is The Gift of a Child. I haven't really started much on that. I think I got like four chapters um, started on it, so I might go back and work on that some. Um, so it might be a mixture of different projects, but I am uh, attempting to get the 50k. And with being involved in this community and participating in writing sprints and, you know, having this 
friendship and network of other authors to hold me accountable, I believe I will be able to succeed, hopefully. So that is what I anticipate for the coming up month of November, um, is to succeed and excel in NaNoWriMo for the first time. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that's this uh, video. I know it's a lot shorter than most of my other videos, but I just figured I'd sit down and just kind of explain, you know, what I'll be working on for NaNoWriMo and how I plan on succeeding since last year. I didn't even get like halfway there. So, you know, make that adjustment and change and what I know I need to do myself to make it a success for me to write the 50K. But yeah. Um, if you haven't already, you can go click the subscribe button, click the like button, you know, follow me, whatever. Uh, all my social media links are down below. I got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. I got a Patreon uh, page where you can go and support me for as little as a dollar a month. My debut novel about Formetagor is available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and a bunch of other places. Those links are down below. You can go um, buy an ebook or a physical copy of that um, from any of them. But yeah, that's about it. Till next time. Peace out, Yelly. Everybody love everybody.